Um, uh, so my name's Mitch. I'm a subject matter expert here at uh, CityWorks. I do a lot of uh, product management and um, specifically respond. Our respond application is one of the um, areas that I cover. So before I talk about a new capability that's coming to respond, I wanted to give you guys uh, some context. Um, for a while now, there's been this page that's existed in Office that you're able to add to your site menus named the Entity Lookup or the Asset Lookup page. And what it does is it allows you to either create or search against a entity identifier and then look up work history against that uh, specific asset or create a work order or inspection. And I just wanted to talk a little bit about what this entity identifier is. Um, typically in CityWorks, we distinguish an asset from all other assets uh, in the GIS using its entity type and entity UID. An entity type you can think of being as like the specific feature class or layer in a geodatabase. And then an entity UID, uh, like Laura was talking about, is that, uh, that text uh, unique identifier that is separate uh, from the system level uh, object ID. So that's typically how assets are identified uh, in CityWorks, but there's also this other way uh, called an entity identifier, which is a unique uh, text value that is unique no matter what entity type it is. Um, you know, with the entity type and entity UID uh, method, you can have an entity type of hydrant and an entity type of water main and two assets within those two different entity types can have the same entity UID and it's fine because they're in different entity types. Well, an entity identifier has to be unique no matter what uh, entity type that asset is in. So this page, this asset lookup page, allows you to create and search against entity identifiers. Um, a common example we see is like the VIN of a vehicle. If you're using CityWorks for uh, fleet management, because that VIN is going to be unique for that vehicle you know, no matter the manufacturer or uh, whatever else uh, it could be classified as. So with that context in mind, uh, I would like to talk about this new capability that's coming in to uh, respond. And I have a little video demonstration here. I'm gonna go ahead and play this video. So uh, this is an Android tablet and we are in the asset details page of Respond. And there's this option here to pull up a find assets modal. And there's this lookup tab where you're able to look up an asset using an entity identifier. And then we added a barcoding capability to that modal where you can scan a barcode that contains an entity identifier. Once it does a successful barcode read, it's going to search using that entity identifier and find the corresponding asset. Once you have found it, you can hit select and they'll add it to the asset details modal. Uh, from here, you're able to do a myriad of things, including uh, viewing the attributes of this asset. So here's what the, the asset details modal looks like. You can scroll down and view a picture. Uh, view the costs and man hours uh, associated to that asset, and you can even edit attributes uh, from this modal. So we're just going to go down and hit save and have that new, uh, have that attribute saved. So the aim of this capability is just to provide um, the end user an easy way to uh, identify an asset. Uh, you can do it through the map, uh, through the split map and respond, or you can do it through this find assets modal uh, using that lookup capability. 
And what this allows the user to do is to easily identify that asset, allow them to pull up the attributes or create uh, actionable work activities against that asset, such as a work order or inspection. Uh, so that's it. Uh, this is coming soon to respond.